gosh, what an absolutely That's massive really play to start play. the game. If he gets rid of the stage, he gets the one hit KO! Hey everybody, welcome back to Fight for First. Happy New Year. I know it's probably a day or two late, but I think it's important to say anyway, my New Year's resolution is to get my videos out to you guys on time every single day. So that should theoretically be noon PST for Fight for First, Monday through Friday. That's gonna be my job. That's gonna be my 2017 goal. Whatever your goals are this year, you should let me know in the comments section because I actually read those. A lot of people don't read them, but I actually read most, if not all, of my comments. So whether I respond or not, I'm there and I'd love to read them. Anyway, guys, I worked on a new team today. Literally, today is New Year's. This is Saturday. This is Saturday and I, I, I worked on this team because I wanted to bring you something new because I, lo because I love you. Or if you're not into that, then I don't love you. But I brought this for you anyway. This looks sort of similar the only thing here that you've seen exactly how it is before is the porygon the porygon i think is flawless i think puddle <clears throat> puddles the porygon that is legitimately his name puddles the porygon is flawless the rest of this team you've not seen this or that on this show at least not like this completely theoried we're gonna see how it's gonna go 1909 means ninth eighth eighth in the u.s currently I think first is 1979. Whoa, someone's been playing a lot of battle spot. But we're honestly just a few points away from 7th, 6th, 5th. You know, we're five, po 7 points away from being into 4th. From being in 4th. So it's really close. Really close. Okay. He's got double Coco. He's got two Tapus. He's got that Mega Gyarados. He's got that Guard Chomp. Does that look Scarf? Lele's probably Scarf. What do you think? He's got the Age of Slash, which actually is something that I'm afraid of. And he's got Cloyster, which also is something that I've been a little bit afraid of. I'm going to go Pheromosa. It's got Ice Beam. Oh, I'm not going to tell you. You're going to see. You're going to see. It does have Ice Beam, though. But it should be uh, it should be pretty cool. And theoretically, I think I believe I outspeed Scarf Lele. So we're going to find out in real person if that, if that works out. Um, stopping... Age of Slash. I think I was supposed to use Muck. I do have a switch in for electricity, and I think I might go... No, that's a lot of... No, I have to go Porygon, I think, if I see Garchomp. I think that's the deal. Garchomp and Gyarados, we always... This is the Porygon. You've seen the Porygon. You know what the Porygon does. It does its job pretty well. And then when I go into it, if it's not those two, if it's Age of Slash, I want something to stop Age of Slash. And I might, I might have to go Mimikyu. I might have to go Muck. What are we thinking? Porygon can theoretically stop Cloyster. It cannot stop the Age of Slash, so I might need the Mimikyu for Age of Slash. I could use Muck. Muck's pretty cool. I'm gonna go with Mimikyu. I went with Mimikyu. I did go with Mimikyu. Muck, theoretically, if he had also had a Porygon on his team, Muck would have come. Um, I didn't want to. Like, I didn't want too much, I guess, Earthquake weakness. Although the Age of Slash really was going to get punished pretty hard. But Mimikyu can do the same thing too. And honestly, we can set up with the Mimikyu. That's going to be pretty threatening. It's not It's not the Z-move. The Z-move is actually on Pheromosa here. And, and you're going to see something pretty cool. There's a Cloyster. Right off the bat. He's looking for it. I don't know. What do you think? I can... Let's see. Let's take a look here. We got U-Turn, High Jump Kick, Ice Beam, and Poison Jab. High Jump Kick, it seems like High Jump Kick is like the right play, but I think he immediately goes into Aegis Slash just to be safe. Maybe to cause me to have some damage. Um, if I was scrappy, I would jump kick. I would jump so far and I would kick so hard. But I think for the time being, U-Turning is safe. I could break the Sash, go into Porygon. If he Shell Smashes, I still got Thunderbolt. If this is the right Porygon, he's going to stay in. I think he's got, I think because he was Focus Ash, I think he's going to go plus two. Because it gets around, it gets around, you know, Mimikyu, it gets around uh, a lot of my team, actually. And so I had to be really careful. And that's, Lantern's actually part of the reason why it exists, is so that it can come out here, take a plus two from <laughs> Cloyster, and actually, like, KO back. He's going to be forced to attack me now. Because you really don't want to lose your plus two, right? Unless, well, I don't know. He can always just Shell Smash later. It's not like he used his item or some kind of white herb yeah so he could switch out i am going to thunderbolt there's no reason not to what he goes into gyarados no guard chomp i'm still a porygon on the field age slash okay fine we'll switch too or actually i might stay in here and hit it a couple times no i'll probably switch and then the last one was what where does he have that oh no two two tapus or two cocos two tapus 
They're not all Cocos, they're all Tapus. I'm gonna Thunderbolt here, though. He should switch. He's gonna sub. Hmm. You thought I was gonna Toxic? Hmm. I don't know. I actually pick him up when he's at minus one from here. So, I don't know. I don't know about that. I, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to make the trade. I'm willing for him to go and for me to just Thunderbolt. He's gonna Ice Skill Spear. I should survive with at least 40%. Unless he gets like four crits from here. Two. Three. It always hits five, right? Four. And then one more. Yeah, so we, we are actually able to probably survive one or two crits. And then Thunderbolt back because he's at minus one. So that's kind of nice. Um, but literally, if I see Cloyster, I really want to bring Lantern. Just because... I'm really afraid of Cloyster in general, but we pick it up. Thank you, Porygon. You are the best puddles. You are the best duck. What does he go into? I might actually end up sacrificing Porygon here, depending on what he goes into. Now we do have Mimikyu for Aegislash. In fact, I'd like Aegislash to KO me here so I could get Mimikyu in for free. But we'll see. I'll probably just soften it up a little bit. He's thinking. Gyarados? Hmm. Okay. So I can Thunderbolt or I can Toxic. In fact, I'm going to Toxic. Usually what you do is you switch in Porygon. It's got Trace. You take the Intimidate. You've seen that. I'm actually just going, going to go ahead here. Because I, I could Thunderbolt. But at the same time, what is... Here's the deal. Gyarados if it's Jolly, which this one should be. Oh. Maybe I recover the first time. What do you think? Waterfall doing up to 58. I could recover, which might be good. Actually, I'm going to recover first because that'll go way further. Or should I just start Thunderbolting? Maybe I should just put him under pressure. No, I should recover. Mm. I should probably Toxic. I should probably Toxic now. No, 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 no. I should Toxic now. Because I don't want him to go to plus two. I don't want him to go to plus two. I'm going to sacrifice the Porygon here because I cannot allow him to go to plus two. Um, my Mimikyu, it gets around Disguise because he's Mold Breaker. If he goes to, if he's only plus one though, I outspeed him with Pheromosa and I don't know if he knows that. So I'm going to try to put him on a, on a timer right now. Because he's going to dance. Yeah, sure. And then I'm going to Toxic. Please hit the Toxic, you puddles. 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 So I could Thunderball here. I'm trying to think. Because he can KO me here. But he has to attack now. Yeah, I do believe he has to attack now. How much does Mimikyu... I gotta see how much Mimikyu does this to this before I do anything. And you're like, oh, it's gonna kill Mimikyu. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 not my Mimikyu. There's the waterfall, and that's what I was looking for, actually. This is perfect. This is way better than him continuing to dance, because it does pick up Porygon from here. But plus one Gyarados at 146, if you add 50%, right, because of one boost is 50% speed, you get another 73. So that's 219. Guess what's 223 speed, if I built it correctly? This guy. And now what's he got in the back? What's the potential? Yeah, so you know who's not going to risk missing right now? Me. I don't want to miss. Because if I miss, I could lose. Because it'll literally just be my Mimikyu. But yeah, see, I go for it. It's so fast. This thing is so fast. It's incredible. And then as long as this is built correctly, I mean, this should probably get four Gyarados, Mega Gyarados from here. It could probably get a regular Gyarados from here. That's how strong this thing is. But yeah. So the thing was, I wanted to put immediate pressure onto the Gyarados, and I wanted him to KO my... You know, my, 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 my duck or puddles as soon as possible because then as long as he's only plus one, I outspeed him here. So that's great. Um, if I don't use... Honestly, if I don't use Porygon to stop Gyarados, I'm in for a world of hurt. My team is not really ready to fight that. So, but I did get a speed boost here. I outspeed Tapu Lele even, I'm pretty sure. Uh, if it's max speed, unless it's Jolly. Jolly will get me normally. 147 times 1.5. What is that? 73 because it rounds down. Let's say 74 just to be safe. 
two, uh, 217, 221. I'm faster than it. So, and then we got a plus one. So even if you're, even if you're um, scarfed. Yes, boys. Yes. Legitimately the first time I've ever used this Pokemon. Oh, it survives. What? <laughs> Wait. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. It doesn't, I mean, it doesn't matter. But I didn't know that. That's kind of sad. Is that super sad? Or is that just me? Oh my god, it really just does not do that much damage. Oh my god, it doesn't do that much damage at all. Fermosa sucks. What a shit Pokemon. I think maybe U-Turn even does more damage. No, no, not quite. Um, but this should be enough. As long as I don't Shadow Sneak. I'm not gonna give him a chance. Yes! 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 Whew. All right, Theory Team, way to go. Way to go. Whew. Honestly, I had no idea how that was gonna go. I, I sat here and I built it in my head, and then that was it, but... It took me like t it, two or three hours, I mean, granted, like to, to come up with, okay, I started actually with Age of Slash, and then it didn't even make the last the last bit of the team, it got kicked off in the last stage. But I was like, okay, if I have this, what can I counter from the top of the, the, the spectrum? And then this, and then this, and there you go. 1924 puts us at fifth place. Four points behind fourth. 1901, let's see if we can't get him with another Fermosa, another Fermosa play. Um, that's a Chandelure. I'm really not okay with that. Because otherwise, my Celesteela would have come here and it would have been amazing. I have to bring Porygon because we see the Gyarados. Gyarados is a huge threat to my team. Um, my Lantern is built to survive one Earthquake, though. And so part of me wants to go Lantern. In fact, Lantern looks pretty good. But plus one, I'm going to be out of luck. But Lantern does help against Celesteela. But my Celesteela might be able to beat his Celesteela. No, I'm probably going to want Lantern to help stop, like, a. Uh, like his chandelier and shit. So I'm going, I'm thinking Lantern. Uh, wait, do I really want Feramosa? Hold on, hold on. Oh, I'm thinking Lantern Porygon. Lantern, pretty helpful. Stopping Mimikyu actually might be difficult. Feramosa only because, no, I gotta keep, I'm gonna keep the Gyarados in check. I'm really gonna have to be careful, but I'm gonna keep it in check. I'm putting a lot of pressure on Porygon in this matchup, huh? How do I stop Mimikyu? Do I use Muck? That's so much Earthquake weakness. This is a tough team. It's kind of neat, but it's a tough team. I'm gonna go Mimikyu. I probably could have gone... Could I have gone Feramosa? The Chandelure I couldn't beat. What was the other thing? The Mimikyu would be difficult, but I couldn't U-turn. But then would I switch into my Porygon? I think my Mimikyu's a better matchup for that. Okay, we see Mimikyu. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably Vault Switch here. He should outspeed me, so that's a that's good. I would rather Lantern take the hit here, or uh it's shiny, it's not nice, it's a nice color. I love Lantern. I named him Blue, but B-L-O-O. -O. Um I think that's how you spell blue from uh Foster's Helm. So I'm actually gonna should I vault switch immediately? Yeah, I'm gonna vault switch immediately. He's gonna toxic. Okay, cool. That's actually okay with me, believe it or not. Uh, that's pretty interesting. That might mean that he's not, you know, what's that thing called? Swords Dance? Or he's not Shadow Sneak? Both of which are okay with me. I am running a different Mimikyu. I gotta think about the rest of his team. What do I wanna go into? Oh, I think I have to go into my Mimikyu, basically. This is why I brought this, yeah. And I think I just wanna do the damage instead of setting up. I'll take a look at the rest of his team. This is also shiny. Those are the only two shinies, but those are both legit shinies. Um, plus two only gets. I mean, it's it's okay against Gyarados. I'm gonna I'm gonna want to switch if he goes into Gyarados. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm more comfortable just shadow shadow clawing here. And then I'll shadow sneak to finish him off. Because there's always a chance for a crit. There's a chance for him to like make a mistake. 
In fact, I outsped him there. If he's just going for Toxics, I might just Shadow Claw again. Like, I understand half my team is toxic It's Leftovers. Leftovers. You think that's like... Is, he st is that Stall Mimikyu? Is that Stall Mimikyu? I can see why people Life Orb now because it picks up other Mimikyu. That's kind of neat. Um... I kind of want to keep my disguise intact. I'll see if I cannot speed him. Oh, nice play. Celesteela. Okay. That's a good play. That's a good play. What are we feeling? Do we feel like this thing is Earthquake Celesteela? We've seen that before. That was pretty decent Shadow Sneak damage, though. That was pretty decent Shadow Sneak damage. I'm going to... Okay, his, his Mimikyu super hurt. Did we... We didn't outspeed it with, with uh, Lantern, but we can pick it up with Lantern. I do want to keep... What's his name around? I'm going to first go into... Porygon in case he's Earthquake. I think he would Earthquake now in case I went back into Lantern because he's seen Lantern. He might also Leech Seed, but if he does, I'll get a... I'll Thunderbolt once and then I'm going to switch. Giga Drain. Go figure. That was quite a bit of HP. <laughs> what? This is crazy. A green Thunderbolt here. He can switch, but if he goes in, what? Guard shop? That's okay with me. So, and the Mimic, he doesn't want to switch in. Okay, now we're going to see all three. Unless he's sacrificing it. It's Guard Chomp. That's kind of okay with me. Ice Beam, I'm just, I cannot let Porygon get toxic if I want to win this game, I think. But between being able to Vault Switch, okay, I guess Porygon's the only member of my team that can heal, but I can also at some point sword, uh, Swords Dance once and get up a nice Shadow Claw against the, the Celesteel if I need to. Okay, I don't... He's just giving me a chance to do a little bit of damage here. Unless he was expecting me to switch too. He gave me a chance for a freeze. There's no lefties, which is nice. I'm going to Thunderbolt. He should go for a lefty if he's, if, if he's got it. It's Flash Cannon. I'm not sure if he's got leftovers. That did quite a bit of damage, so I'm going to have to recover. But we're also whittling this down. And chance for Para? Nope. I can't lose this. I have to save it. I have to save it. Unless he's hiding a Z-move or something. I should be able to survive this, though. 83 to 20, and I'm going to get more health back. So I can recover a few times here. I might actually recover one more time and then flip into Lantern. And then go for a Scald, because that'll punish basically everything. And that way it won't risk too much of a... Or maybe I'll do it two times. Because now I can definitely... Oh! Okay, so he's going to make... I think he'll make a... Does he make a call that I'm going to switch? Does he Giga Drain now? Like, I need Porygon. Does Mimikyu get it? And I think it does. And do I need Mimikyu for anything else? I don't... I don't think so. I think Porygon definitely beats... I, I, I don't... I think he Giga Drains. But do I risk it? Because if he Flash Cannons... I don't want to Giga Drain into my Lantern, of course. That's that's probably end game. That probably loses me the game. So I think Mimikyu is the, the closest thing I can do. Although, I don't know if Shadow Claw is going to pick it up. How desperate is he to KO this is the question, I guess. Because with Mimikyu still under the disguise, like, that's pretty good. But I think I need the Porygon. That special defense drop's a little lame. It's special defense, right? Okay, I'm going to switch to Mimikyu. I think he gig it. Oh! Garchomp. Okay, wait. I'm okay with this. I think I'm okay with this. Because I think I play rough. I think I play rough. Was he starts swords dancing? But I'll have two play roughs. Yeah. I'm max attack now. I'm no longer... Uh, well, I was always max attack. I'm max attack adamant. But I feel like you might have to switch, buddy. I think you might have to switch. Or maybe he goes and he hopes for the 10% miss. Because that'll actually might give him the game if I 10% miss here. It could be really bad depending on how much damage I actually do with Play Rough. But Toxic Mimikyu is really interesting. He's going to switch. 
into Mimikyu, so he's going to sack it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, that makes it the predictions a little bit easier here, because one thing's down. Uh, 98 to 82. Okay, I'll be down in the 60s, maybe 50, high 50s next turn. What's left? Garchomp. Lantern can beat, theoretically, the Celesteela. I don't know, it's a pretty weird Celesteela, though. It's a pretty weird Celesteela. I don't really want a Shadow Claw. Yeah, I want to, I definitely want to play rough. Unless you think he's going to... Well, if I Swords Dance and he just attacks me, I can always get off that Shadow Sneak, right? And that should do enough that he hasn't had time to... Swords Dance. Because I feel like he might go to Celesteela. No, that would still be bad for him. I'm gonna As long as I hit these, I can win. As long as I hit him. So I'm going to do that. He's going to switch. He didn't switch. Okay, cool. Maybe he was trying to bait like he was gonna switch, but like I said, I don't, I don't really feel pressured because it's, because it's so hurt. And as long as he's not boosting, I don't really care. In fact, you could kill Mimikyu, and I think I still pick up with. Um... Nice. That's all that mattered. That was really, that's really, really great. Oh, minus attack. Sure. He'll rough skin me. That's fine. And here's the deal. I. It looks like I should shadow sneak, but I'm not going to. Uh, two, two things here happen. He switches. Shadow Claw punishes way harder. He doesn't switch. Porygon comes in and Ice Beams. And I think we've got it. So I'm going to do this. Unless it's like Rest Garchomp. Because it looks like a Shadow Sneak, right? I think if you have a chance... Or he might even just forfeit now because he feels like he's cornered. Like maybe two Shadow Sneaks get Celesteel. I'm not sure from here. But I'm going to just... I'd rather him KO me and not worry about missing a, another KO or something. Or, you know, I don't know. Okay, so this we were right. That was right. Yeah, you, I think he's got to because he feels he's only got these Pokemon left. Yeah, two Shadow Sneaks. I'm not. I'm not so sure we get it. But now it's gonna be both things gonna be within Shadow Sneak range. That's just dead. I think that gets it anyway. But yeah, it it it's it's right there. If not, it's they're both within Shadow Sneak. So I get one Shadow Sneak off. I'm gonna Shadow Sneak here. Wait, no, I'm not. Could I miss? Only if I can miss. If I, won't, I won't if I can miss, because I'd rather, as long as he doesn't get up a plus attack, I'm going to win. So I'm actually going to Shadow Claw. He would need to hope to get the Swords Dance up. <laughs> that was a good strategy. See, that's the only way he could win. If I missed this KO, I died, and then he was able to one. He crit, Porygon killed it, and then he'd get the, he'd get the Lantern, but I don't allow him that. Oh, shit. Two unnecessary crits. My phone is blasting. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that buzzing, but that's what it is. Anyway, boom! Mimikyu coming in huge. Dying itself. But, you know, we tried our best. And we have no regrets. Happy New Year. Happy 2017, guys. I am so glad to have you guys here. I love making this series. So, as long as you guys keep watching it, I'll keep making it. Watch it. If you guys can watch every day, even watch half of it every day. That's even, that's fine. Honestly, it's fine. That's honestly, overall watch time is what matters, but you don't have to watch the whole thing. So any bit, you can let it run, whatever. That's great. Big win. Let's see where we sit. Uh, for the first two games I've ever played up at that level on Battle Spot, I'm really, really content with how the team turned out. 1939. Third. Third place, guys. Third place. A lot of these, whenever you guys see a new team, I don't really usually practice with it beforehand. I just bring it in raw, and I think that makes it exciting. A lot in store for you. My Celesteela is crazy. It's crazy. You've seen the Freyramosa, but you haven't seen the real damage yet. There's got a lot to look forward to. Come tomorrow. It's going to be hype. Let's push for further. I want to break 2,000, I think. That's my goal. 2017. Let's break 2017. That'd be pretty hype. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time on another episode of Fight for First. And, you know, take it easy. Peace. Feeling kind of strange, feeling kind of off. Don't know what's really going on. I feel like something's up and I